What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another brand new Call of Duty mobile video and in today's highlights video it's different. It's similar to how the PDW video was yesterday. I'm going to be talking to you guys directly. It's not going to be a stream highlights video and the reason behind this is that there has been a bunch of leaks. If you guys watched my main channel video you'll know that there was a bunch of skin leaks recently and there's been a massive tournament leak. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be having a world championship. Yep. Now, as you can see on screen here, I was actually sent this leak by a person known as Slash. I'll leave his YouTube linked down below if you want to go and check him out. He was actually digging through the test servers of the beta and he came across all of these leaks that I've been showing you guys over the past day on this channel and my main channel. So looking at this first screenshot here, it says up at the top, COD Championship 2020. And then right below it, it says Tournament Solo, April 3rd to April 26th. Across from that, it says Tournament tournament Team Up, May 1st to May 10th. Then Regional Qualifier after that, May 17th to May 31st. And then Regional Playoffs are gonna be in June slash August. After that, it would be the CODM Championship. So most likely they will fly everyone out for the World Championship after the regional playoffs to see which are the best teams inside of each region. Bro, I'm so excited about this, dude. I'm going to be playing in the solo stuff and stuff and just testing it out and seeing how I do. But I don't think I'll go to play in the regional playoffs or anything. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll find a team um, to play with, but I'm going to be moving a lot in the next month. Well, after the coronavirus stuff ends, I'm going to be moving around. So I don't know whether I would get an EU team, whether I would get a North American team, how I would practice with the EU team if I was in North America, you know, all of that stuff. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to play in the regional qualifier or regional playoffs, but maybe if things align perfectly, I will be. But yeah, I'll definitely be playing in all the qualifiers. I don't even care if I... Dude, I'm playing in the qualifiers no matter what. I want to see what the competition's like. You know, see if anyone's if, if anyone's frying. And maybe in the first qualifier phase, I might be able to drop a nook in the qualifiers. I don't know if I drop the nook in the, in the COD Championship qualifiers. That could be a banger video. But either way, going down, it says duration. So there are four weekends that you guys can qualify for this brand new COD Championship. Remember, this is actually in SEA, China, Europe, North America, Oceania, it's everywhere. This includes like all regions inside of the game. Garena and Global are both gonna be getting this tournament because in the screenshots that were leaked, you could pick Southeast Asia as a region in this tournament, which is obviously the place where Garena is held. So yeah, there you go. We're gonna be oh, world tournament. Oh boy, a theory. As you can see, first qualifier, April 2nd to April 5th. Second qualifier, April 9th to April 12th. Third qualifier, April 16th to April 19th. And the fourth and final qualifier is April 23rd to April 26th. After this, says the rules. Solo phase is a series of four weekends in April where players will have opportunities to qualify for the team up phase simply by playing ranked mode. Players must first click sign up under the participation tab for qualifying weekends. Players qualify on one, two, three, or all four weekends. It only takes one weekend to qualify, but y'all already know I'm going to be playing all four weekends. This is giving me a, like a Fortnite World Cup kind of vibe. If you guys don't know what Fortnite World Cup was last year, they went into their version of ranked mode and played against the best players in that. And then after each week, they went against tougher and tougher opponents and all the, the worst opponents got kicked out. This kind of reminds me of that. Hopefully it's something like that because that would be pretty dope. Either way, the first 10 rank matches a player participates in will be assigned a score based on rank and number of wins. Points do not carry over from weekend to weekend. Once a weekend is over, the player either qualified that weekend or can qualify again during next week. A qualified player may also continue to qualify each weekend. So you boys know I'm, I'm going to be qualifying every single weekend. I'm going to be going every single weekend, trying my hardest to get as many points as possible because I want to see how I compare to all the people who maybe don't have YouTube channels, the competitive scene, the pro scene, all of those other YouTubers, even all of the other players inside of the game. I want to see how your boy compares, you know? So let's go on to the next screenshot. So the next screenshot, it's the same COD M Championship 2020, except it shows you the rewards that you're going to be getting. I think it's kind of bugged and glitches, but glitched, but you are going to be getting rewards for even playing in this. 
the reward that you can see for signing up i believe it's an m4 black and gold skin which is kind of meh but you can see every single tier 20 points you're going to get a reward 40 points you're going to get a reward and 60 points you're also going to be getting a reward inside of these qualifiers i believe that the point system will probably work some way similar to the ranked system probably similar to the legendary ranked system even if you're only veteran ranked or whatever it will still take away the same amount of points that it would take away from you if you were legendary so for example if you play really good one game and you go like 50 and 0 you drop a nook a fat nook you might get like 36 points but if you lose the next game six or five oh and a search and destroy you're probably gonna lose like 20 points so just keep that in mind if you lose it's gonna be detrimental to your success let's go on to the third and final screenshot all right so the third and final screenshot you can see here there's rewards at the top over to the right there's participate then regions and rules so over to the bottom left you can see regional tournament solo april 3rd to april 26th there are four weekends to qualify there might be a delay of three hours in data refresh as you can see the points rewards they are here also except for 40 60 and 60 it shows an epic version of the skin that we were talking about earlier being the m4 black and gold skin I don't think you're going to get the M4 black and gold skin. I believe it's 12 times it's in this. I don't think you're going to get it. I think you'll get it once and then there'll be other rewards here in those same rarities. So 40, 60, and it says 60 and 60, but I think they meant to do the second 60 as an 80. And you'll get probably a different epic skin or a different blue skin in those rewards also. So that's going to be pretty hype. You're going to get, be able to get a lot of free skins for the free to play and the free to play players are going to show themselves who is on top by hopefully coming on top of these qualifiers next over to the main portion of this screenshot you can see first qualifier second qualifier third qualifier fourth qualifier in this particular screenshot the third qualifier is live you can see the live on the top right then third qualifier sign up duration region china now remember i was telling you guys that there's a southeast asian region there's a chinese region there's europe there's a north america oceana there's loads of regions that you can participate in in this um sign up so it's gonna be great it's gonna be really really cool i really hope that you can see other regions though i want to be able to see other regions leaderboards i want to see how the southeast asian players are doing i want to see how the north american players oh you're from china let me see your leaderboard bro you know what i mean i want to see all the leaderboards and below it says you're ranked rookie one of course you can't play in this if you're rookie one i think you need to be above veteran to play in it um, and then points earned plus 10 to the right and then you can see there's little it looks like a chart bro this is hype dude look at this freaking little chart it says point zero past point 80 so you need to get past point 80 to, to get past the qualifier stage i guess which to be honest i think i'm gonna crush this i do i've got i hate to be cocky but only 80 points in 10 games dude even if i'm getting 10 points per game as it says plus 10 here that would only mean that i would need to win eight of my matches I solo queue on the regular and I can if I'm trying hard just to win and don't care about my kills to deaths I think I can win all 10 of these games I'm just saying hold me to it hold me to winning all 10 of these games but yeah you can see it shows all of your games below it says your wins and your losses and then sign up rewards are down at the bottom and then at the bottom right you can see sign up so that is it ladies and gentlemen the COD Championship 2020 is around the corner. It is literally starting next month. A lot of people are off school or off work for the coronavirus. So you know what that means? They're going to be grinding Call of Duty Mobile. And that is exactly when the qualifiers for this tournament start. So there is going to be some heavy competition going into this tournament because everyone's going to be grinding away on COD Mobile because they have a ton of free time. And it's going to be, honestly, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be nutty to see who comes out victorious and who are the best players inside of the game when they find their teams and maybe you might see some people blow up on youtube here or there depending on how good they do in this tournament and how they can actually perform but either way that is going to wrap up today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like subscribe we just hit 100,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers on this channel i appreciate it so much that's crazy dude we literally are gonna get a third 100k plaque which is gonna be nutty either way make sure to subscribe if you guys are new i hope you enjoyed today's video and without further ado let's roll the outro bye <laughs>